Hello, this is Tom, and thank you for visiting Napco Video Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be going over the GSM Connect Radio that is connected to two panels, the Adamco panel and the DSC. What we're going to be doing today is making sure that it has the correct firmware, Micro 1, Micro 2 version in it in order for it to work with these radios. So first I'm going to log into the Napco NOC 2. Going to log in. Going to put my radio number in. Then I'm going to first go to Starlink Connect. I'm going to go to Panel Configuration. Okay, and this is where you'll see the information about the panel that the Connect Radio is connected to. So this one is the DSC panel. When you first hook up one of these, it's going to show up as a NAPCO panel. So what you want to do is you want to go in there and choose your panel and panel type. This happens to be a DSC 1864 and then your partition and you're going to do save radio configuration. Once you hit save radio configuration, you want to go down to the notifications it comes selected no, so if you're using notifications, you want to select yes, and then save subscriber options. You want to scroll down, and what you would like to see there is notifications, yes, and then the IP address, MAC address, and when it was activated. If you don't see that there, what you want to do is hit retrieve settings. And then that should populate this. And also you should see, as you scroll down a little bit more, your current firmware version. This is important. So the M1 file should be 32353.11.9. M2 file for this particular panel should be 200.33.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
And at this point, that should populate this information up here. And it also should populate the M1 and M2 files, the firmware versions for this particular panel. This one, the M1 is 32.3.53.11.9. M2 file is going to be 1160005. Again, these are very important. You need to see these. And if it says zeros in here, then you're going to have to retrieve settings again until you see the zero, until you see the firmware file. If it sees zeros, it's going to think it's a NAPCO panel. So that's a very important file. So I just want to go over the firmware files, make sure that, you know, you can get everything working on the radios with the panels you have connected. So thank you for watching Video Tech Tips.